Hey guys, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Steven. Today is the 27th of March. Open time uh, for general uh, first come first serve opened up today. So I submitted like 15 requests to kind of balance out my schedule right now because it's just too many hours and too many trips too close together. So uh, wish me luck. I'll find out hopefully later on today what I get. Uh, I'm at the airport going to the post office to pick up hopefully packages that are there. I got an amazing parking spot right here. That's the airport. Yay. All right. I will see you in a few minutes. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Okay, got two cards and a notification I received a package. <laughs> I got two more cards. This is one sticker that's on the front, which I think is ironic. Have you thanked your postal worker today? Because I just had to, I wouldn't say yell, but speak strongly to the postal worker here. Uh, he, I was in line behind a little old lady who's trying to get a P.O. box. She didn't have enough money. And he was so rude to her. He was so rude to her. And he said, I have been here 35 years and I have never had a more difficult... I literally was... I'm, I'm like two feet taller than this lady was. I literally had to stop and say, you've been here 35 years. You should know how to talk to a person, a human being. So I just got so mad at this postal guy. I'm considering changing my P.O. box to another post office just because he works here. I mean, it's that bad. But um, I got another call. Oh, so I got a card. This is from Remy. Happy birthday. And she included a little gift certificate to Yogurt Land. Very exciting. And then, was it Carolyn? Carolyn sent me this birthday card. With, she wrote a quote in the bottom. The older you get, the better you get, unless you're a banana. That's a quote from Betty White. And I finally received what I think Diva sent me which is a t-shirt that says, oddly, it is very true, it's a t-shirt, limited edition, classic, 1969. They don't make them like this anymore. They don't make them like this anymore, aren't you glad? But I am super, super pleased, thank you, Diva. I'll assume it's you because there isn't your name on here. Uh, but, uh, and I got my cell phone holder for my car, so super excited. Uh, I'm considering going over to Wendy's for a small chili for lunch, but after watching uh, an episode of My 600 Pound Life, these these people, <laughs> they lose like 90 pounds in a month. I don't know how they do it, but it's not by eating Wendy's chili. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to pause. I'm not going to do it. All right, back to the car. All right, so I'm heading back to the car. If you remember this situation, you watched too many of my videos. But back in September, uh, Starfield just released, and I was very excited, and I was playing the game like 12 hours a day. Uh, but um, I showed up for work at the airport probably six, eight hours early. For some reason, I switched numbers in my brain. I literally showed up for work like six or eight hours early. So we just settled in and played Starfield the entire time. It was actually quite nice. And during that time, I met a flight attendant with Southwest named Kimmy uh, or Kim or Kimberly. I'm not quite sure which she prefers, but um, uh, she is a friend of Teresa, who I used to work with, who now works at Southwest, and blah, 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 blah. And we sat and we just chatted and chatted and had a grand time talking and commiserating and complaining together. It was just really quite nice. That was September. Well, I'm walking back to the car and this Southwest flood attendant walks up towards me and she goes, Stephen, hi. And I'm like, oh, wait, you and I just, yeah. and uh, yeah, it was, uh, she remembered me from September and she goes, you look very skinny. And I'm like, oh, I love you. You don't watch my videos, do you? She said, no. I said, oh my God, that you don't know that I'm trying to lose weight and you still think I look thin. I'm so excited. Uh, but uh, we just stood there on the sidewalk for probably 25 minutes, just talking, talking, laughing, chatting. She's thinking of getting a cat. I told her to get two. She just moved here from, where was she living? Burbank? but she just, just moved here to Las Vegas. She doesn't have a car. She's thinking about leasing a car. And she's like, do you mind if I take your number? But you know, I don't know anybody here in Las Vegas. I'm like, yes, please. I would love, 
I would love to know more people here in Las Vegas. And we, we get along really well, similar personalities, and just, I'm super excited. I'm just really, really thrilled. So, um, yay, a new friend. Oh, hey, how are you? Oh, to my fantastic parking spot. I really enjoyed chatting with her. She reminds me a little bit of Jennifer, is it Jennifer Coolidge, the actress from Legally Blonde, you know, the bend and snap lady, the hairdresser. Um, love her. Really, really fun. So super excited. She was just telling me a little bit about the goings on inside uh, Southwest. I guess there's some factions within flight attendants uh, that are pro and or against this new, you know, con, against this uh, new contract they have. Their new top out, their new payout, I should say, or whatever it is, 90 bucks for at 13 or 16 years, $90. Ours is 61. That's our top pay. Uh, but um, yeah, 90, but they just work too hard. <laughs> I could never work for Southwest. Uh, but uh, all right, so I am getting a little crazy hungry. I'm not going to eat Wendy's, but I do have to. Oh, I know. I'll go to Sprouts. I'll go to Sprouts and get one of those little um, boxes with some hard-boiled eggs and carrots and hummus. That's what I'll get. Yes. Do you ever try to open your car door and realize that's not your car? That's somebody's car. And that's my car. <laughs> <laughs> they also have a Honda uh, 2024 HRV, but they have the highest package. They have the, I forget what it's called, but they have a sunroof and they have uh, floodlights and heated seats, that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, I just tried getting into their car by accident. I felt stupid. Yep, they got me. Crew scheduling got me the stinkers. So I, it's their prerogative. I am on reserve today and tomorrow. Uh, the last two days of the month are movables. I don't think I have to answer the phone. I think they have to call me by the end of my notification period, the end of my notification block, my, my reserve block, which is tomorrow night. So they have to call me by tomorrow night to be able to use me, I think, on the last few days of the month. I have to look at my contract. But uh, so I'm doing a double turn today, which is so irritating because that's a long day. It's a very long day with not a lot of real work. Uh, so I'm chasing as well. And, you know, I don't like chasing. So I'll be the chaser, which is the fourth flight attendant of a with a, a base crew of three. I'll be the fourth. Uh, they work together their entire pairing. Today just might be one day of four for them. But for me, it's just a one day trip. So, yeah, my report time is 11.30 something. Flicka just wasn't working today, so um, I, I'm guessing it's about 11.35. Uh, it is, oh, my watch is over here. Uh, it is 10.05, giving me some time to grab something to eat at the airport. I went to Dunkin's this morning to get a breakfast sandwich and a coffee that will hold me over for most of the day. Uh, but there were three cars in line, which doesn't sound bad, but at that Dunkin's, that's a good half hour. Uh, so I'm just going to grab something at the airport. Um, what else is going on? So I have been very good about keeping my device up to date with revisions and uh, read files and things like that. I've kept it charged to 100% the entire time. So I am all prepared for, for, I have my passport. I have all of my required items. Yeah, so I've been prepared for the call, but it just wasn't ready for the call, if you know what I mean. All right, let me stop rambling and get into the airport because I am starving. I will see you soon. Well, I did not get randomed, so that's good. And I ran into an acquaintance of mine here at work, John. Um, he was so instrumental in starting me off in this job in the right way. He was so kind and so patient with me as a new flight attendant. He had been here for years. Um, it was uh, one of my first layovers, and we were in San Francisco. He had been there hundreds of times and did not want to go into San Francisco. He wanted to relax, but it was my first time. Hi there. It was my first time going to San Francisco, and I was so excited, and he didn't show it. But inside, he was like, ah, oh, damn, I don't want to go. But he brought me into San Francisco, showed me how to get into town, 
showed me our, like how to get around, how to take the, the, the BART system. Hi there. He was so patient and see, he was so nice. And I think I've seen him like twice since. <sighs> you never see the ones you like. You only see the ones you... Mm -hmm. I'll stop there. <laughs> hey there. Hi. So we're in Reno. That flight from Vegas to Reno was about an hour, completely full. Really nice flight. Nice passengers. I'm flying with a great crew. I'm up in front with Gina, who's been here for 12 years. So it's just easy. I mean, she knows what she's doing. She has her routine. She's she's very thorough. She's amazing. Super nice. We're having a great conversation. She's a real estate agent as well as a flight attendant. So she's multi-skilled, multi-talented. I'm eating one of my little kind bars, little ones, um, hopefully to stop eating something in the cart because I really want to eat. I want a snack, you know, so I'm having one of these. It'll carry me over to Las Vegas where I'll grab real food. I think we have an hour sit or something before our Boise turn. So uh, it's going to be a long day, but I'll see you later. This is not very generous lighting, is it? Hey guys, how are you? So uh, we just jumped off our plane. Oh, this lighting. Uh, we just jumped off the plane uh, in Las Vegas. We had to swap uh, aircraft. We stopped at Moe's, which is like a burrito bowl kind of place. And I got a burrito bowl because I am starving. I am so hungry. Uh, it is 436. We've got about eight or nine minutes before we start boarding. So I'm going to talk quick and eat fast. Uh, so I will see you in Boise. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that look amazing? I'm hoping not to finish it, but I think I'm going to finish it. <laughs> starving. I ate that whole damn thing and I don't feel guilty in the least. I don't think I've ever showed you what my turn bag is for work. When I'm just doing turns or if I'm just doing like a super simple day, um, I will carry this bag. And you can see it's not very large by my by my hand there, but it's super handy. It's a little crossbody. And inside it's just large enough to carry my work device and its carrier, a good sized book and a bottle of water and all of my required items for work. It's Toomey, I have a weakness for Toomey. Uh, and if you know Toomey, you know there are pockets everywhere. This one also has pockets inside between the strap and the body of the bag on both sides. I mean, there's so much storage, but, and it expands. So that is what I use for my turns and we're boarding so I gotta stop filming. Hey guys, welcome to Boise. I don't know if I've ever been to Boise. Boise, just kind of feels weird in the tongue. Um, but uh, that flight was all right, easy, no drama, no trauma, a little bit of turbulence. One person in the back of the aircraft who seemed to have too many cocktails in his short two hour sit in Vegas. And so he got a little, I'd say sloppy on the plane, um, but um, it was such a short flight. I don't think we served him anything, but who knows? Uh, but a nice flight all around. Um, I'm just so grateful to be working up in front with Gina. She is such a hoot. Uh, I really, really enjoy working with her. Um, and the day is passing surprisingly quickly. Uh, for as long as it is, it feels like it's moving pro real quick. But watch me say that before the last leg of the day. Because you know, if something happens, it's always on the last leg of the day. Knock on wood. Uh, but it's been a nice day. It's been a very nice day. Uh, we've been full every flight. Uh, this next flight back to Vegas only has 108 passengers, so it feels like we're catching a break for this last leg. But um, yeah, it's been a nice day so far. It's been very, very nice. I'm sure it's been kind of weird to see me like just farting around town in the first half of this video, and then this this second half, me going, flip, look, I'm in Boise, flip, I'm in Vegas, and well, this is what it's like to work multiple legs. Um, yeah, I will talk to you guys once I get back home in Vegas. All right, see you soon. Hey there, hi, still in Boise. I just looked on Flicka to see if any of my requests were approved. I think I've got a total of 40, maybe almost 50 requests for swaps and drops and whatever. None of them have been approved. Um, I'm trying to just open up my schedule so that I don't have back-to-back -back trips. As it is, I have two back-to-back -back four days, which is not acceptable. Uh, so I've been trying to move one of those trips up a day at least or back a day so I can have, you know, at least one and a half days at home with the cats and stuff. But 
Yeah, all of them have been denied because other people have picked up those trips. It's supposed to be first come, first serve. I don't know how it's possible that I've not been approved for any of them. I, I don't understand. So I'm instead just trying to drop one of the two trips uh, so that it gives me some time off because I I'll only have scheduled seven days off next month and that's not enough for me. So uh, I'm going to try and drop drop one of my trips. And unfortunately, I can't seem to get rid of that last trip of the month, the Houston trip with a um, Honduras turn. I just don't want to do that trip, but I can't get rid of it. So, <sighs> all right, wish me luck. I'm hoping to drop that, uh, drop that trip. I will see you guys in Vegas. Hopefully that request will have processed by then. I'm back in Las Vegas, stopping by the P.O. Box. I got a cat uh, water fountain filter inside here and two more cards, I think, for my birthday. Super excited. Oh, also deliriously tired. Oh, I can't close this. <sighs> Wowzers. It has been a very long day. My duty day started at 11.25 this morning. It's just 11 o'clock at night. Right now, it's been a very long day. Four legs. The, the majority of the day was spent with boarding and deplaning, boarding, deplaning, boarding, deplaning. Uh, but uh, as long as today was, it passed relatively quickly, mostly because we had such a great crew. I had just a fantastic crew. Working up in front with Gina was a complete pleasure. Really super nice. Ugh, hold on one sec. But it was a really nice day. One of the highlights of my day was meeting Heather. She's one of our passengers. She's actually flown with me a couple times, I guess. And um, I just had a really nice time with her and her friends and her mom. Uh, just had a fantastic time. She was celebrating her birthday, coming to Vegas with some friends. And just a, a really bright, fresh, uh, fresh breath of fresh air is what I mean to say. But I'm so tired. Really a lot of fun. Um, I came to my P.O. Box. I found um, a water filter for uh, one of my cat fountains and two birthday cards. Um, this one's from Brandy. I just spit all over my stuff. I'm always spitting. Um, this is a birthday card from Brandy. Yay, Brandy is a longtime viewer and subscriber. She also gave me a list of questions for a future Q and A. So I will put that aside for another time. And inside was this fun little sticker set, which was kind of a hoot. So you can make your own little jack o' lantern. And this, I have not opened this card up completely. Is a card from oh, Brandy. Another card from Brandy. What's silent and smells like milk chocolate? That's an Easter card. Bunny farts. The Easter Bunny is lactose intolerant, apparently. Uh, that's hysterical. Thank you, Brandy. Happy Easter, honey. Um, this card actually almost matches the background here. But uh, thank you for my cards, Brandy. I really appreciate that. Um, I am going to go home. Um, I'm, I'm probably going to make a little bowl of cereal uh, to eat because I'm, I'm starving. I had that um, burrito bowl earlier, but... For some reason, I'm hungry, and I'm just going to eat. I'm not going to put myself to bed hungry again, so I need to eat. I'll just go to the gym and, and maybe work a little harder tomorrow. Um, all right, so thanks for joining me. Crazy video, I know, but once again, that's just my channel. I will see you very soon. All right, fly safe. Bye.